Velam Garisep told NBC News that Swapo Party did not make any promises of reward to people who joined them to liberate the country. Garisep narrated that he grew up in a house where liberation idols were the cornerstone and what Swapo stood for was instilled in him and his siblings from a very young age. He said it was about freeing Namibians from the apartheid regime and to form a government based on the one Namibia, one nation ideal. But joining the liberation struggle came with its own hardships. He joined the Swapo Party in 1974, where the late Betwell Basson issued him with his first membership card. He relocated to Kietman Swap, where he actively participated in Swapo activities. Gariseb and other members organized party activities at night, where security forces frequently arrested and harassed them. Swapo, when I joined and started working for the party, did not make any promises for us. But the message was very clear it was about to become independent. And that your children and their children be freed from the oppressive apartheid regime, that was it. No promises to individuals. Gariseb and some of his peers migrated to Khibion, where they lived in hiding in the care of late Swapo icon, Captain Hendrik Bedboy. Even at Khibion, they were still pursued, after which they fled to Venduk, where he and fellow comrades experienced continuous harassment, arrest and torture at the hands of security officers.